In this ACCU tutorial, I will show you how to create a DSCF chart and a DNDC chart. There's three distinct ways. First way I'm going to show you is how to create a chart based on known SCFs. So if you actually know what SCFs you want to drop at, um, this is the way you do it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is check this box uh, for the local SCF entry. We're going to go ahead and select the icon next to it and we're going to go ahead and click New to create a new chart. So I'm just going to type in my SCF. Okay. Now, if you know what SCFs you want to drop at, you can go ahead and select them now from the left side. So if we know we want to drop off, for example, um, let's say to 934, we'll come down here. Here we go. We have uh, zip code uh, 931 for Santa Barbara. We're going to go ahead and choose that as my local SCF. I'm also going to choose Bakersfield. So if you know which SCFs you would like to drop out, you just go ahead and check them here. If you leave the threshold at zero, uh, the software will only pre-sort for those sectional center facilities if they meet the minimum thresholds of either 200 pieces or 50 pounds of mail. At this point, we can go ahead and click Save, and that's about it. So when you pre-sort the list, what the software will do is it will pull out at least 200 pieces or 50 pounds of mail and create a drop ship form for that particular SCF. The next way to create an SCF chart would be to have it based on minimum thresholds, and this is the way I recommend. So I'm going to go ahead and select this icon again, bring up the SCF uh, destinations. I'm going to go ahead and create a new chart and I'm just going to give this a name called Based on Minimum Thresholds. So now, depending on how far each of these SCFs are from you or what your savings would be, you can set up individual thresholds for each one of these drops. So let's say you wanted to choose um, some of the drops here in uh, Massachusetts. So you could say, okay, I want at least 5,000 pieces of mail going to this SCF before we would create a dropship form and pre-sort to that SCF. Let's say you wanted uh, 3,000 pieces to go to this one. Uh, Boston, let's say we want at least 5,500 pieces. And Brockton, let's go with 6,000. So now you can set it and just simply check these boxes, turning them on and click Save. So AccuZip will only sort to those SCFs when they meet those minimum thresholds. Now the reason that's probably the best way to approach it is that you don't have to worry about individual databases. Any database that you open, you apply that chart to, and then only if they meet that minimum criteria will a drop ship be created for them. So it's, it's basically set it up once and forget it. Another way you can create an SCF chart would be based on actual counts in the database. So if we go, we, we have this database open, which uh, has roughly 44,000 records. Um, let's say I wanted to create an SCF chart based on the, the data in this particular database. I'll go ahead and click on the button again. I'm going to go ahead and click New. And I'm just going to say, uh, give this a name, SCF drops for my database. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and clear all of the thresholds out of here by typing in a zero here and clicking the down arrow. It warns us if we want to clear them all, click yes. So now our thresholds are all zero. Then over here I'll select this option to calculate count. So what it's going to do is it just queried the database and gave us the count for each SCF, how many pieces are going to each one of those SCFs and put it in here. So we have a, a, a bulk of our uh, mail pieces going to Pittsburgh. So if we wanted to, we could just click on this option right here to export these counts. I'll just drop it in here in the demo just to have a, a count. Let's say we wanted to give it to our customer to let them see kind of where their mail was distributed. So we'll click Save. And now a text file was created. I'll go ahead and open that text file up. We'll go ahead and navigate to it right here. There we go. Okay. 
So the um, this is a, what, what it did was it produced a comma separated file, um, and the X indicates that we're checking it to utilize, and then it shows the SCF drop locations and the actual counts. So we can scroll down a little bit. You can see all your accounts were exported as well. So it's useful. You can give to your customer. They can open it up in Microsoft Excel as well. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the set, set some minimum thresholds in here based on my actual database. So I've got the counts. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a threshold, a universal threshold for all of the records. So let's go ahead and type in 2,000 pieces as my threshold. So now all the records are populated with 2,000. And this button up here in the left corner, if we select it, it's only going to select the SCFs that matched or exceeded the minimum threshold. So I'll click on this option to show only the records that are checked. So these three SCFs contained 2,000 or more records. And the, these navigational tools are kind of nice, so you can pull them up real quickly just to see where your mail is being distributed. So you may elect not to mail to um, Greenville. You can just simply, Greensburg, you can act simply uncheck it. And then you're finished. You can click Save, and only these two SCFs will be pre-sorted to. We'll go ahead and click Save and click Pre-sort. So the software will go through and pre-sort the 44,000 records, and then we'll go ahead and check out the mailing statement and the qualification report, including the drop ship statements. Okay, so the pre-sort is finished. I'm going to click Reports. I'm going to leave these standard reports. I'm going to click Print. It'll take a few moments. Once the documentation is printed to the PDF, I'll go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look at the 8125s. There's the CAS certificate and the qualification report. So the reports have been generated all into a PDF, all bookmarked. We'll go ahead and select the hyperlink here, and that'll open up the pre-sort window. This is the pre-sort folder. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click on the e-documentation. Here's our mailing statement. I'll zoom in. Go to the second page of the mailing statement. So here you can see how many pieces qualified for the SCF discount versus how many pieces did not. So as you can see, the discount is significant. In this case, it's over four cents, 4.3 cents savings, just simply by dropping it on an SCF. We'll go to the SCF drop ship form. Software completes the form, and this is standard mail flats, automation compatible. We come down here a little ways. You can see that there are 508 bundles, 194 sacks going to this SCF. Scroll down even further. 33,729 pieces to be dropped off in SCF Pittsburgh, PA at this address. If we go ahead and go to the next page, you can see that a next uh, another dropship statement was created. We'll scroll down a little bit. This one contains 2127 records and all destined right here to Newcastle. And there's the address for the drop. And we'll go to the next page because there was three. Actually, there were only two. Remember, we unchecked the one. So then we go back down to the CAS certificate, and further down is the qual report. Now, the qualification reports are also broken up into each entry. So as you can see here, this is the SCF Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania drop, and we go down a little further. And here's your SCF Newcastle uh, qualification report. So what you'll end up doing is you'll take all of this mail and these reports to your local post office where your mail will be verified. Your post office will take the mailing statement and place a round stamp on it here. They will also take the drop ship form and they will place a round stamp on that form too. Right here. So after all the mail is verified you remove the mail that's going to be drop shipped to those different drops and you may have you may leave some of your mail that's destined to that particular SCF 
or you may have to take it you know, down the street if the actual SCF is down the street. But the most important thing is there, all your mail gets verified there at your local post office. The rest will be drop shipped to the other post offices where you'll save a considerable amount of money. So that's how you set up the SCF charts. You do the exact same thing when you're setting up the BMC charts. So you go back to the pre-sort window, the interface is identical, you do the exact same functions to set up the BMC chart. Thank you for watching this hack tutorial.